Hey guys, what's up? By Sexatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with a quick recap of the war against the Iran team, our most recent clan war. Uh, you guys saw a live attack from this one, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a recap video, just a kind of a quick one though, of of the war. And it was, it was a pretty good war. I mean, they used most of their attacks, um, and they did a solid job. Got all the tens two starred, and uh, the main problem was some of the nines, especially that some of the upper nines weren't three starred. Uh, so that cost them most of their stars, but uh, still, you know, better war than usual. And obviously, all eights were uh, three starred, but uh, it's 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 good to have you know some semi competitive, uh, just normal wars where you don't do an arranged matchup. So uh, good job to everyone at One Hive Genesis, though. Uh, taking a look at this, basically, we I'm not sure what happened on the eleven. Uh, maybe there weren't as many two star attempts once we realized it wasn't going to be that close of a war, uh, but. Either way, we weren't able to get the second star there. Same with the Town Hall 10, but I suspect in the Town Hall 10, uh, we were going for three stars once we realized that we were kind of pulling away and it wasn't going to be uh, that close. Uh, but all the Town Hall 9s, for the most part, were three stars. We did leave 9 and uh, 16 oh, and 21, uh, not three stars. So a little bit sloppy in the 9s part. You, you guys saw my uh, one of my fails. I actually did not get a uh, three star in either attack. I'm in a little, a bit of a mini slump, I guess. I haven't three started in, in a little while, um, so hopefully gonna get back into it in the arranged war I'm in right now. But anyway, just talking about this war, gonna show a few attacks. I'm gonna start with number three, Cotton Eye Joe. See him on the channel a lot, I guess. Uh, it just happens that he has some great attacks that uh, need to be shown. Uh, but anyway, this is kind of a cool one. Uh, you can see that these four air defenses, or at least the three of them. They're all pretty close together. None of them are kind of in that core. Uh, so this guy was keeping them well away from his queen, uh, which is good. But uh, the problem is that the, if they're all that far over, that it makes it easy to take them out and then use balloons on the rest of the base. Uh, so Cotton Eye Joe creates a little funnel here. Uh, Going to wall break her in and get his queen to just uh, basically walk into that compartment and get the second air defense after she takes out this first air defense right here. Uh, now, while this is going on at some point, he does start in on the right side uh, with a golem, a few wizards, uh, just to create a funnel. Then he's going to go ahead and drop a jump spell to let his king go in there and take out the enemy queen. So just kind of a nice trade right there. I think he gets a few defenses as well. Um, up top, though, the queen is going to make her way into the compartment as soon as that storage goes down. So right here, she kind of doubles around and gets in there. She's taking a lot of damage, so I believe he drops her rage. Or uses the ability. I forget which one he uses right here. Uh, or maybe he doesn't. Yeah, the, the, never mind. The rage goes down. So yeah, gets her back up to full health. Lava Hound comes out of the CC. She has to deal with that. Uh, the king did his job. And you can see the uh, king, the golem, the wizards. They took out a few defenses. Uh, although there are still some defenses left up. But no big deal. Has plenty of balloons uh, when the time comes for that. Drops the poison down. That's going to take out those pups a little bit quicker. Uh, than if the queen had just taken them out individually. So they go down, and then the queen's going to go ahead and take out the nasty air defense. Drop in the haste, and I like that early haste, drop it that far out, because the effect of the haste sticks with the balloons, you know, for like two seconds after they're out of it. So you might as well just drop it early, get those balloons hasted, because uh, it doesn't have to reach as far as it needs to. The balloons will stay uh, hasted, I guess you could say, uh, after they leave the spell for a little while. So coming in there, just overwhelming that entire side, has a hound in the CC, which will tank for that one air defense. Then the queen in just a moment is going to step up and get that next air defense. Pops the ability, very smart, gets that air defense taken out as quickly as possible so the balloons aren't going to be taken down by it. And you can just see how many balloons he has left up really for this core. Uh, this guy was nice enough to put little decorations in the core so don't have to worry about traps or anything like any Teslas really being in there. Um, the last defense to go down is the archer tower. So, so many balloons still left up, has maybe, I don't know, over 10 at least. Uh, with wizards for clean up a few lava pups, plus the queen's still at full health with her healers, and even has a rage spell which he does not drop. So, very, very nice attack to Cotton Eye Joe, just picking the base apart, uh, seeing its weakness, and getting the job done. Alright, uh, now I thought it'd be kind of cool to take a look at the base I tried my live attack on, which was number six, and how it ended up actually getting three starred. So, Rudy basically looks at the plan and says, I'm not going to mess around with any kind of queen walk. Not going to try to, you know, do what I was trying to get the queen and the king into there. Because um, he thinks he can just uh, drop the Valks down, drop a jump, and get to the giant bombs, which he can. Very, very nice strategy here. 
Uh, he knows where the giant bombs are, knows where the Teslas are. Uh, there's that one Tesla farm in the core there by the by the clan castle. So what he does here is just creates a little funnel with uh, two golems, uh, some wizards, and then drops the heroes down. Uh, the king does go a little bit high there, but I believe the king comes back down to the town. Or no, the king goes on a walk, sorry. So he loses the king to kind of just, uh, the funnel wasn't quite created yet, but has everything else, the Valks, uh, the wizards, the queen going in, drops two poisons to take out the dragons and a few archers. Everything's making its way over, has the jump to let all those Valks into the Tesla farm. And with those Teslas right next to each other, the Valks are just going to mow through them. Uh, they can swing and hit both of them at the same time. Uh, so those Teslas go down real quick. And then the jump even lets them into these compartments right here uh, where the giant bombs are. You can see these hogs are already coming in. Uh, but the giant bombs are triggered by the Valks for the most part. So it doesn't have to worry about the hogs being hit really. And has a heal uh, once they kind of all meet up on that air defense. Coming in with more hogs, just a few hogs for each defense. That one queen took out the air defense. So the double set of giant bombs is no longer an issue for the hogs. They're not going to go over there. Uh, so very nice there. Last few defenses are going to go down. And the uh, king is still making his way around. Basically did a whole uh, 180 on this base all the way on the right side now with a few wizards backing him up. And the hogs will get these last few defenses. Nice little split there. Uh, we'll fast forward as this one is over. Great attack to Rudy, cleaning it, cleaning it up, and I guess kind of showing what the, the right plan was for that base. Although I still think mine might have worked had the queen gone the right way. Uh, but that's a whole other story. Um, anyway, last base I wanted to show was, I believe, 32. I wanted to show one Town Hall 8. Um, kind of a quick recap, but having arranged war this weekend, which I'm going to focus more on. Uh, so just going to kind of keep it very brief in this recap. Dropping a hog just to get the C sealer. It does a double poison. I think we've all seen that. I think he does a double poison. Maybe did I miss it? I, I mean, I, I fast forward through this. I, no, okay, never mind. He does the old fashioned uh, barb wizard kill. I forget why he saved the poison. I kind of watched this attack pretty quickly, uh, which is might not have been the best idea because he does not double poison. He lets the wizards take it out, which is always a good option if you want to save those poison spells. Drops down the king. Um, this kind of a holo, what we used to see on Town Hall 9s back in the day. Uh, but it works out here because all those air defenses are in the core. So it just drops down some hogs. CC of hogs as well. The king's doing some tanking for the point defense, which is awesome. Uh, has the first heal to keep those hogs at full health. Uh, some skelly traps popping, but no big deal. Giant bomb goes off. Maybe a little bit late in that heal because the giant bomb coupled with the wizard tower does a lot of splash damage to those hogs. But doesn't lose that many. Still has quite a few. And enough to get the air defenses down that's all that matters is that these air defenses go down after that this base is done because he has so many balloons and there's no air uh, defenses left up they're going to take out the archer towers the cannons the wizard towers all that stuff um, the hogs are able to get that air sweeper they kind of peter out they hit a giant bomb uh, so the hogs are pretty much finished but uh, the balloons are going to get the job done and uh, maybe a little bit late on the balloons just because when you think about it, hogs are a better cleanup troop than balloons. So if you want something left over at the end, you want there to be your hogs left over, not the balloons. So it makes sense to deploy the balloons early, uh, prevent the hogs from having to run over there and get hit the traps and the defenses. Um, even if you lose a few balloons in the process, it, it's a good sacrifice because you want to save as many hogs as you can. But this is, you know, splitting hairs. It was a great attack by Easy Mac. And uh, I guess he never used those two poisons. That's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, Maybe he was thinking he'll use them on the skelly traps and just in the heat of battle kind of forgot. Who knows? But like I said, the balloons aren't the best cleanup troop. They kind of take a while to go around. They're really slow. So we'll fast forward. Um, but they do get the job done. Unfortunately, the king can't target them, so he's not going to be an issue. Does drop the poison just to slow the king down because that group of balloons chases him for a while. Uh, but awesome attack to Easy Mac. Love seeing the holo because uh, not that common anymore, but it's still a fun attack to watch. Uh, that's going to do it for this recap, guys. Hope you enjoyed the war. Um, like I said, I have an arranged war right now going on uh, with the Holder Clashers. So very early on, but hopefully we'll get some coverage of that for you guys this weekend. And uh, no guarantees this Super Bowl weekend, so going to be kind of busy with that. But I'll do what I can. Definitely have a recap of this. Uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectron out.